Hello folks. It's amazing how quickly it turned cold. I think it's below 50 degrees right now. Even though a week or two ago it seemed like it was 80 degrees. So I finally got some long pants on again. Um, it's going to be clear all night tonight. So I might finish up one of my projects early. I was going to go over 20 hours on uh, my big scope here for this one project. But the forecast uh, for the following week, it doesn't look so good. So I'm going to see if I can just finish early. And it's an object that um, not many people seem to capture. I see it a lot in um, wide field images, but because it's so close to the bubble nebula, it seems to get overlooked. At least I think it does. It's the Northern Lagoon Nebula. It's small, even for my big scope, so I'll probably have to drizzle it. But I've seen other people capture it. And it does look pretty cool, and it's really bright, surprisingly, even in oxygen. Um, so far I've captured five hours of oxygen, about nine hours of HA, and almost two hours of sulfur. I'm going to go a little more on sulfur today, and then I'm just going to try and process it and see what I come up with. All right, thanks. Okay, I am trying something different here. I put my mug shot on the screen so you guys can see me while I'm talking. I don't know if you like this approach, but I tell you right now, it, it makes me nervous knowing that a camera is on me. You know how I feel about that kind of stuff. I never, ever got comfortable in front of the camera. But anyway, um, so I'm capturing sulfur and... Um, Right now, I've got, I've got around 90 subs of oxygen, but I might have tossed out a couple of them. It might not be 90. And I have 135 subs of HA. I think that's, I think, I think I kept all of those subs. All the data looked good on that. So that's about nine hours. And even though my sulfur says I've, I've captured 48 subs, I tossed out quite a bit because, um, Look at my image history up here. Uh, you can see that the, the star count has gone way up tonight, starting right there. But the previous night, it was way down because uh, there was a lot of haze. And I ended up throwing away a lot of data. Look at tonight. My star count is around 437, 411. But the previous night, it was down near um, 285, 281. And I didn't like the way the data was looking for, for um, the, the sulfur. And right now, I'm capturing um, unity gain, 139, 21, like I always do for sulfur and HA. And I cut the gain in half, down to 75 for um, oxygen, just because there's less light pollution protection. And I leave the, the exposure at four minutes for all of them. That gives me a mean readout that's very close to the same for all three filters. And let me show you one sub. Oh. But you know, whenever I close the box, it uh, it always zooms me out of Sequence Generator Pro. But um, I've got my security cam up here on the web. You can see one scope. Uh, they're both pointing to the east side of the meridian right now. Um, I think this one will be crossing the meridian first, though. Uh, but this is the one I'm making the video for, my Explore Scientific um, and CGX setup. Let's go back and let me show you one sub for Sulper. Um, there's not a lot of sulfur in this Northern Lagoon Nebula, but look how much HA there was. Uh, that's, that's, and for a second, when I first saw this, I thought, uh-oh, <laughs> I thought I was blown out the core for a second, but when I pulled it up and picked in sight, um, it was okay. And I framed it, it it's tiny, but I'm going for my scope, but I'm going to drizzle it. And I framed it a little bit off-center because I saw something going on here. So just in case there's something I wanted to pick up there, I, I moved it a little off-center. I didn't want to go too much off-center in case this turned out to be nothing. But um, let me show you. Um, this is about six and a half hours of HA stack. I didn't stack all the HA data, but that, that's what it looks like, the full field of view. This is just uh, an STF on it. But um, I'm probably going to come up with two images for this, a wide field view like this. And I'll probably have another version that's cropped. I really like um, this nebula. There's a lot of stuff going on there. Lots of contours on this thing. 
and I don't think I want to peel away all that brightness like uh, some people do on the uh, the Orion Nebula. They peel away the brightness so they can see those the inner core, those four stars. But um, I don't think I want to do that. I like the way this looks here. I might take a peek what's underneath that if I can if I can do it though. But who knows? But anyway, that's how it's looking so far. And whatever I end up with tonight, I'm probably just going to process it. Because I don't know when the next clear night's going to be, and I'm getting anxious to process something new. Um, all right. That's all I got, folks. Uh, let me know if you prefer this kind of view, or if you want me to go back to the uh, the old way, and you don't want to look at my mugshot. Oh, uh, one more thing. Just in case, uh, I can't see the video of myself right now. I assume you can see me. But just in case... Uh, uh, I wasn't sure if you could see my histogram. A lot of people like to see my histogram, and my mugshot might have been blocking it, so that's what the histogram looks like. All right, so that's all I got, folks. I'll see you later. Hey, I'm back again. I forgot to show you my guiding. You see, with this camera, I'm, I'm a little rattled. It's something different, and I forgot to do my normal routine here. But this is what the guiding looks like. Um... Uh, it's at 0 0.70 right now, which is pretty good for my CGX. I've actually been seeing a lot better guiding on this object uh, in the 0.5 range for a sustained period of time. So, um, But even 0.74, I'm going to see round stars. I'm not too worried about this. So, um, Okay, that's all I've got again. I will see you later. I was going to go over 20 hours, but I might end up with... Is there something on my screen? Something just... Uh, I know I had other stuff I wanted to say, but you know me, I can't remember anything. Hello folks, 